Well, what's up America? This is old Jim Bob from Jim Bob's Commentary Channel coming to you from a secret location somewhere in America. I thought I'd do a little follow-up uh, to yesterday's commentary on how sex can get you killed. I feel like I left uh, some of the information out in there that could be helpful to you, and so I'm going to do a little follow-up on it. But before I do, I just want to explain to you that I get a lot of my information uh, that I, I, on the cable TV. Uh, cable TV's got everything on there. They got the Discovery Channel, they got the Seaman in News, they got the Fox Girly Channel, and uh, uh, Lifetime, and all that kind of stuff. And, uh, and you can learn stuff by watching them shows. The sitcoms like uh, Jerry Steinfeld and all of them there, you can you can learn a lot of stuff. You think a comedy show wouldn't teach you nothing, but uh, uh, in my case, uh, what I'm uh, explanation I'm going to give to you sort of come from a Jerry Steinfeld show. So you got to kind of learn how to take things and put them together and uh, get knowledgeable. Now, I'm naturally knowledgeable anyway. Uh, I'm just uh, naturally smart. I can't help it. So uh, anyways, going on, uh, I prefer cable TV over the satellite because uh, I spent 34 years of building the cable industry. And uh, but uh, and there wouldn't be no satellites if it weren't for the cable TV first. But it don't matter. Uh, one's about as good as the other one. So if you got the satellite, that's okay with me. So here we go. Uh, I was watching a Seinfeld, and I seen this show on there, and it made perfectly sense to me about how uh, uh, humans can get in trouble with the sex and get killed. So here's the, here's the explanation. You've got to use your imagination a little bit, but uh, if you just sort of visualize, you'll be able to, uh, to understand what I'm about to teach you. See, uh, I went through the hunting explanation yesterday, so if you didn't see that, you need to go back and watch that one first. So uh, I explained all that to you. So, what, But humans uh, are different, see. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you're a man or whether you're a woman, you got a big head and you got a little head and uh, and so uh, it don't matter what you are you do and uh, it don't come up in the, uh, uh, the books uh, uh, medical books as much but uh, trust me it's true so uh, see uh, the big head it controls the arms and your legs and your breathing and all of them that stuff and uh, keeps everything alive in you and keeps you going and it's uh, the main uh, computer station for everything and that's uh, that's your big head and your little head uh, it sort of is down in the area of uh, y your uh, britches and your zipper area or your watch pocket if you're a man down in that area is where the little head uh, resides and the little head uh, sleeps most of the time. It don't do much. Uh, it just sort of uh, lays around and sleeps down there. Now I'm going to use a man as an example, but it don't make no difference. A man or woman, it's the same thing. But uh, I'm going to use you to visualize a man. And uh, so the little head's down there, and he's just sleeping. And he's a lazy little some bitch. Uh, and uh, he's just laying around down there and doing not much of nothing. And the big brain's up there working away and working and, and keeping the lungs going and the blood flowing and, and uh, everything like that. But uh, there's some wires that go through the human body. I mean, they're not like uh, copper wires, but they're, they're, they are, they're kind of like wires. And the wires to the eyes, uh, it goes right down to the little brain. And it's a directly, they're directly connected down there. And uh, so, when uh, when the big brains, this uh, big head, is just doing its job, working around and everything. Well, uh, uh, all of a sudden, the eyeballs see this uh, uh, pretty girl over there, and uh, eyes do like that and everything, and and uh, sends a signal right on down to the little brain and uh, if, he, if the eyes like what they see uh, the little head starts to waken up slowly and slowly and slowly and slowly like that and uh, so when the little little brain starts to waken up um, everything changes the big brain 
start shutting down on certain areas. I mean, it keeps the heart going and uh, keeps the person alive, but uh, there's a part of the brain that has to do with uh, common sense and, uh, you know, survival and stuff like that. Stop those those uh, switches start flipping off. Boom, 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 boom. Next thing you know, the little head is uh, standing at attention like a soldier. He looks just like a little soldier. And if it's a Jewish man, he even has a little helmet on him. And he's standing up there like an attention and he's got control of the whole body. All of it. And uh, the big brain can't do no common sense left in there or nothing. It's just following whatever the little head tells it to do. And so on and on and on it goes and uh, till uh, the little head gets where he wants to go. He's got a destination in mind and so he's headed on to that destination as, as quickly as he can get there. He starts moving towards that destination. He's just heading on that thing. And, he, and the whole thing has to get to the headed towards the uh, destination of where the little head wants to go. And eventually, uh, the little head gets where he wants to go and he does what he wants to do. And then uh, once that's done, he goes right back to sleep. He just falls right on back to sleep again. And the big head takes back over and uh, everything's back to sort of the normal after a short nap. And uh, that's how uh, the big head and the little head works. And uh, like I said, I learned it watching the cable TV, and you can too. And uh, if you just think about it, it makes absolutely perfect sense. And uh, so, you know, when the, the big head loses all its common sense and everything, it's the same thing with the deers and the turkey. They just lose all their, their common sense. It's just all gone. And the next thing you know, they're up, ended up dead. So, that's my explanation today. And I'm, I'm glad that you watched the show. And I hope that it's been informative to you and uh, that you enjoyed everything that you saw. So, Jim Bob's out.